So as we all know, I'm kind of bad at deep woken, but we are still here on Rex Adra because Rex Adra has a goal today. We have to sell to Lower Arisia, where I'm going to go ahead and try to actually start progressing this character because we've done all this time to get my character to 60 nodes for me to practically also be done with absolutely nothing. I have eight mushroom soup on me. Is that, I don't think that's going to be enough, but like, you know what? It'll do. I should actually be looking for some beeswax too, because I do not have, well, actually I do have a canteen. I'm kind of, wow. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and eat another one of these mushroom soups real quick, maybe two of them real fast drink a little bit on my canteen and then we're gonna refill it up here anyways finally we're off to go to lower Arisia. and the reason why we're going to lower Arisia, of course is again for progression but i'm gonna be focusing up on some of the bandits until i hit roughly level 10 level 15 and then i'm gonna go and try to find out where the sharkos are i think i have a general idea of where everything is i keep teaching myself a little bit more whenever i'm not doing this series so that way hopefully the next episode i can come back a little bit more smarter and a little bit more wise of what i'm actually going to be doing in that episode in particular that doesn't mean that i'm gonna actually be good at the game i still haven't beat trial of one but i i'm confident that i can at least do some things we're gonna go to where the bandit village is and see if i can actually pull off some good old progression but i'm a little bit skeptical at this point i just kind of hope that i don't get jumped i also really don't want to lose rex adra because rex adra is kind of special to me the fact that i have this character that i'm doing my first ever soul progression series on and also having a character with a little bit of a story behind him it would make me really sad to see rex adra go away i guess although i do feel like if I end up losing Rex Adra, I'll probably end up starting to do the son of Rex Adra is what I'm going to call it. The thing is though, is I don't feel like I did things perfectly. As you guys can see, I only have one boon, one flaw, squeamish and autodidact. Not the worst, not the best, but you know, it, it could be better. This was my first ever character I created. I didn't know what I was doing, man. What a rough time. Okay. Will I be noticed by any of you guys? If I just assassinate this guy real quick, will you guys be fine with that? Okay. I'm getting messed up a little bit. Okay. That's fine. As long as you're out here, that's perfect by me. Thank you. Okay, why are you... Okay, I, I wanted you to not notice me quite yet. Oh, that wasn't unblockable? Can I not block your heavy attacks or what, man? Did you just faint on me? I don't like the captains, man. These captains suck. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay, wait, I'm actually kind of messing up this captain right now. Oh, now the captain's messing me up. Please. Not this soon already. Oh, thank goodness. I did it. That makes me feel better about my combat capability, especially that I have a Vanguard Brace, an Emerald, and also a Campfire right next to me that I can relax at. Give me some bread. That'll help me out. I want to do some Detafilo and Brown Cap for some more Mushroom Soup real fast. That'll be nice. A little bit of a problem here, though. I don't have a weapon manual. I definitely need to get one of those. Can I already equip this? I can, okay. Rex Adra, you're looking kind of stylish now, my friend. Do I even want to go over here then until I get my weapon manual? I really feel like I'm missing out with my weapon manual. Now that I'm next to the bandit village is what this is known as. Kind of concerned. Thank you for not noticing me right away. Okay, that worked. That worked. I'm just going to loot this and I'm going to leave. The reason why I'm leaving is because I want to make sure I go get myself the weapon manual anyway. So I'm going to do that and then I can come back. Okay, I'm going to try to equip this too. Will it work? It'll take off my Vanguard Brace. I'm going to keep these ones on instead because I like six health. Why? Why? Hold up. Hold up. Come here. Come here. One at a time, please. One at a time. Well, I just got rid of these guys as well, man. One at a time, please. That's all I ask. Because of squeamish, though, I had to eat so much more food. My blood doesn't look like it's doing good at all either. So yeah, we need, we just need to get out of here, man. All right, we're back on the ocean. So that way I can get myself over to the good old Etria. I'm glad that I got some drops, though. Rex, by all means, is definitely making himself look good. I want to see Rex go so far, man. I want to see to it that Rex gets all the way to level 60 at the very least. I want him to get far in life, you know? Surprisingly, though, for that being the first thing that happens to me in Arisia for Rex and myself. That was, that was actually not bad. I love the fact that this was my first character ever, meaning that I had no idea what I was doing when I was creating this character, which makes the whole idea of running this character and trying to build it after I messed up on the initial character creation. I find it to be a lot more interesting and funny. Also, while I'm here, I'm definitely going to be looking out for the good old beeswax. Why do I keep thinking that I need beeswax? I already have a canteen. These pollogens look so cool, but I really should get myself some clothing, man. Now that I'm here, I'm, let's try it. I'll also get a little bit of some calabash as well because i know that calabash is a really solid food okay so my goal here is antiquarian sell some stuff I'm gonna get myself my mantra 
training thing if I don't already have it. I don't think I do. And also get myself a weapon manual. Then I sell back to Arisia. Well, while you guys are fighting, I'm just going to try to go around you guys by doing this. Hey, guard, uh, you know you heard those guys fighting, right? No, no? Okay, sure. Sell my emeralds, sell my rubies. I will keep everything else for now. I have 87 notes now. Okay, this is good. I'm not sure if I actually got my free axe from you. Oh, I did not. Thank you for the axe, though. I appreciate it. I don't like being an Etria. Even with all the guards around, I just really despise being around here. And my reason for that is because I've gotten jumped here way too many times, even as just a fresh spawn. How many of you guys have actually gotten jumped in Etria for just existing? I know that it's part of the game, but seriously, man. <laughs> all right, there it is. Gale Kata. Give me that, please. All right, finally, I can rest at the fire now while also having my weapon manual. All right, well, my blood is back up now. Let's go ahead and get myself some actual clothes here. Oh, also, let's actually read the weapon manual real quick. Okay, that's one. There's got to be more than one, right? More? Let's go. Okay, I just got my power up from that. Awesome. Okay, hold on. Before I do any more of that, I gotta tell this guy that I won't rat him out, and then I can go ahead and buy myself some cloth, I think, and then I can go ahead and get myself some actual clothes real fast. Let's go ahead and get a blue traveler cloak, and now I'm actually doing a little bit better with my life. What do I get for the cards? I think I'm gonna go for the health pack, because like I said, I need as much health as I can possibly get. I know that it might make some of you guys upset, but considering that I'm still newer to the game and I'm also kind of trash, I, I think it's going to benefit me more in the long run to have more health. Let's go ahead and put some more into medium weapon real fast. That should help me out. I'm surprised I didn't even use my Gale Lunge at all. I kind of forgot what it did. I'm going to do it right here real quick, actually. That's not bad. I should definitely use that more often. I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot more confident playing this game, though. Like, I feel better playing it now than I've ever felt before. Although, I will admit that, you know, I'm still scared to fight certain enemies and stuff because I just haven't witnessed everything. My highest power that I have ever gotten in this game is a power 15, so it's not much. One of my guildmates actually did show me a back way to the Bandit Island, and I would go that way if it was a different period of time in the day. But luckily, I'm on when little to nobody is. So I think I'm just going to go in through the main entrance because I don't think that there's too much for me to worry about at the moment. Look at Rex, though. I don't know. Rex, to me, looks a lot better than what he looked like before. Before, he was in hobo clothes. He nearly broke his legs. He got beat up by some trainers at the Isle Vigil. And now he's actually set afloat on his own out into the wild. And he's also able to fight for himself a little bit here in Arisia. He got jumped by thieves. And he also assassinated a bandit captain as well as fought off of a bandit little camp by himself i'm kind of proud of both the character and myself i know that i talk about rex like it's not me but like obviously it is me i'm just proud <laughs> i know it's not like a huge feat for a lot of you guys out there who actually have a lot of experience in deep oak and of course not and eventually it's not going to be a huge feat for me either but the thing is though is that it's that satisfaction of finally being able to do it confidently if you guys are wondering what my dream builds are for this game i kind of want to go a blind seer dual pistol build one of these days as well as a shadow cast spear if i get jumped by thieves again i'm actually gonna be so upset <laughs> why is there just egg right there give me okay progression in this game as well isn't as bad as i originally thought it just comes down to you learning how to play the game which is one of the things i was significantly struggling with and a lot of it i gotta give to my guild as well for helping me out learn the game a little bit better as well as doing a ton of research on the wiki as well as watching youtube videos and there's another grammar here i'm sorry but there can only be one of us Ow, okay, those were actually some good hits. I hate those heavy attacks, man. Okay, wow, you're actually messing me up right now. Hold up. Ow, how? Okay, hold on, come back up here real quick. How? How, though? Okay, fine, whatever. Sure, take it. Yep, whatever, man. I guess I don't know what to do when the heavy attack's about to happen. I think that's where I struggle as well. I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna try to go back and get whatever I lost and try to take out that bandit captain. I definitely feel like a game like Deep Oaken is better to progress inside of the game with friends. So more than likely, what I'm probably gonna end up doing on other slots in this game, not on this slot in particular, because I genuinely wanna try the solo progression on this character. For other characters, I'm probably gonna try and get some of the guildmates to grind the game with because I need to learn the game one way or another and nothing's better than learning the game with having other people there to help you out in case you do mess up. It's a lot more forgiving with friends, essentially. Why, uh, I need to get past you guys. You know, I can probably get past you guys if I go this way. Yeah, that's why I'm glad I don't have obvious. For anyone who's wondering, because you guys might not all be players of Debokin. Obvious makes me be able to be heard from a further distance away by these enemies. As much as I would like to take those guys out for the sake of leveling and all that, I also want to go get my items back. And also, I hope that there's only just the bandit captain left because I think I got this. If I die right here, I'm going to be so upset. But I doubt it. And I should also remember that I have this ability. Okay, hello. I'm just going to weapon manual that up real quick. Are you guys all stuck in there? You know what? You guys are just free weapon levels at this point. 
I don't mean to get you out of there, though. Where'd you go? What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna take you guys out real quick. You guys spawn inside the wall, but I want my XP. Experienced adventurer. That's a new outfit. Okay, I want that. Awesome. I increased my yell breath. Oh, I actually lost a lot of stuff. Hold on. Okay, hopefully you still have lower health from the fight that we had earlier. And this time I'll remember to use my gale lunge on you just in case. That worked. I'm glad. A headband as well. Let's go. Okay. What I get? Well, you do critical attack and one more into medium weapon. Okay. Level four. Let's go. Black headband. I'm going to put, I'm going to put that on. Oh, okay. That's sick. Also, I unstained my health bar now, which is really good. I also really need to take experience adventure to a blacksmith. So that's kind of important as well. I figured out from one of my guildmates, I can crouch and I can press G and then I, and then it basically lets me hear people at a distance or things at a distance. You see how cool that is? Anyways, that's gonna have to be it for this episode of my grammar, Rex Adra, going on a journey out in the wilderness to figure out his name. There's someone over there I just saw jumping. Hopefully, they're not after me. But anyways, I'll have to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!